us for today and they were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes mark chapter 1 verse 22 one of the distinguishing aspects of jesus public ministry was that he would engage in teaching at the masses in addition to healing them evicting evil spirits from them and solving many problems that confronted the common man once on a sabbath jesus entered the synagogue in capernaum and began teaching the people there but compared to the authorities of jewish faith who quoted from the scriptures he spoke to them the essence of the rules in the scriptures not discarding the scriptures but of justice compassion and obedience to god's word as weightier matters of law as against any kind of tithes of mint dill and cumin as we read in matthew 23 23 it was for the fulfillment of the law and of the words of the prophets that every word that came from his mouth was intended for his admonition for transgressions were only to ensure that there was repentance and conversion among the people in fact the people witnessed a rabbi who taught them so thoroughly the tenets of god's commandments through stories that were that they could understand called parables highlighted them those specific areas in their lives where a change was expected encouraged them in their efforts to obey god's word more than any human precept one who understood their burdens difficulties and challenges in life one who inspired them to keep doing even better more than all one who respected the goodness in their hearts and loved them to the extent of giving up his life for their upliftment many among the crowds believed that jesus would bring about a drastic change in their socio religious and political situation but jesus finally proved to them that he was the servant king whom isaiah once perceived in his spirit who would overturn all existing precepts that were then known to the human race his ways are great marvelous and distinct even today of how he works in each of our lives ask jesus to teach you of what matters the most in your life and you are sure to be the best you one you have been called to be amen dr mini sharino